Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Hope your day's been good. It's a new year. It's 2024. I don't have content ideas. You guys recommended hidden figures, so we're doing hidden figures this time around. Anyways, guys, this specific novel will have its own notes, which will be coming soon. Just be patient and stay tuned for any more updates. Anyways, today we're doing hidden figures, chapter one, a door opens. And we'll pretend this is my first take, which isn't. Oh my god. Anyways, in the first chapter of Hidden Figures, we learn about Langley Memorial Aeronautical Laboratory during World War II. Melvin Butler, the personnel officer, is in charge of hiring urgently needed staff for the war effort. The lab needs junior physicists, mathematicians, assist assistant computers, scenographers, and typists. The workplace is busy and crowded, with new buildings being filled quickly. The lab, near a military airfield, is crucial for designing and testing aircrafts, contributing to America's leading aircraft industry during the war. The story emphasizes the importance of math in aeronautical research and introduces female computers who excel in processing numerical data and despite initial doubts about women's abilities in this field, as the need for staff grows, Melvin Butler faces the challenge of recruiting more women due to men joining the military. The narrative narrative briefly touches on the border societal issues such as a philip radolph's efforts to secure job opportunities for african americans leading to the desegregation of the defense industry the chapter concludes with melvin butler discreetly integrating the lab by hiring qualified african american women creating a segregated office space this marks a significant change in the lab's history foreshad foreshadowing broader social transformations now, I know it sounds a lot, but let's go through this and let me explain this to you guys. So basically, if you don't know and if you haven't gone through the novel Hidden Figures yet or don't have the basic idea, Hidden Figures is a novel basically focusing on the efforts of colored women behind the scenes, or in other words, black women, who were working as human computers, or uh, basically as human computers behind the scenes, and made all this aircraft, uh, uh, these aircraft, testing aircrafts, the travel to the moon, and everything possible, these women were working behind, and in history, they aren't mentioned because, well, they were behind the scenes. Hence, this novel focuses on these women. And in this novel, particularly, we have the story of, I think, three women. We'll be going through that later. Anyways, the story is mostly based in the workspace Langley Memorial Aeronautical, which is a lab next to the airbase. Uh, the airfield or airbase of the military. So now this laboratory works on aircraft designs and those aircraft designs are then implemented in real life. Now the lab is in major need of new staff as you know w due to the uh, level of war increasing they need more production of aircrafts and for that they need of course more people. Now in this whole story we get to know about aeronautical research and the importance, basically the importance of math in aeronautical research, because as you know, anything related to aircrafts or anything else cannot be done without maths and physics, because you need to calculate every single detail. Now in this particular novel, we get introduced to female human computers who excess in processing numerical data, numbers basically, so firstly, of course, as women were always treated as second-class citizens, they doubted the woman's abilities. But Melvin Butler, who did not see the gender he, he wanted to achieve, he had a goal. And for this specific thing, he recruited anyone who was capable enough to take part in uh, the activities of the lab, which, in his opinion, colored women were oh, brilliant candidates for that. Now, so in this whole novel, we also touch on societal issues, basically racism. Uh, one of the examples we get to know is Philip Randolph. He was one of um, the people who led a movement to desegregate the defense industry. Due to him, the defense industry was desegregated. Desegregation means that men of color and white men weren't separated. It basically means they were combined together. Now, in this chapter, uh, it basically ends with Melvin Butler discreetly integrating 
the lab by hiring qualified African-American women. So he secretly hires African-American women and creates a segregated office space, a separate office space from white women and white people. Because as you know, black people or colored people were again seen as less superior. So their bathrooms were different, their office spaces were different. You know, they just couldn't share one space in a sense. So, and this was a significant change in the lab's history and also foreshadowing uh, broader societal reforms. Basically, this brought a lot of transformations in society as well. Because women and colored women in general uh, stepped up from this opportunity, right? Anyways, guys, that's all for this chapter. It was a bit of a hectic start. Hope you guys understood that. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Go follow me on my Instagram if you guys want. I don't know why you'd want to, but I give most of my updates on Instagram. Anyways, guys, see you in the next chapter. Bye!